Hi guys, this is Mike. In this video, I'm going to talk about timeline functions within Cinema 4D. Okay, so you can see we have this little scene set up and we have like this ball and a few steps. Now, if I go to my sphere, you can see we have a few uh, keyframes set up and I'm going to press play. And you can see that we have this bounce just twice going down to the third step. Now, normally if I do this, it's going to, I'm going to have to animate each one of these going down to each step. And that could take a, a, quite a while if I was going to do all of these steps. So there is a way to make this a little bit faster for ourselves. So I'm going to go to our sphere, make sure I go to shift F3 on the keyboard. And you can see that we have um, my X and my Y, and you can see how we have this set up. Now, if I go to each of these little tangents, you can see how this is set up. So it kind of goes down and bounces just sort of like a ball. And we have our X just going off in one direction. So now if I select both my X and my Y, and I come down here to the attributes, you can see right now we have this after uh, option that we can choose. Now if I click on the drop down menu that we have, we can go to offset repeat. Now, now that I have that set, now what I can do is I can choose how many repetitions in this value right here. So I'm going to go to three and press enter. And now if I close down our keyframe for a moment, now I press play. Now you can see it bounces and animates all the way down these steps very quickly, very easily. That way I don't have to go through and animate each one of these keyframes all the way through. It can be quite tedious. Now the only thing that the problem is it doesn't look very natural. We want to add in some rotation. So let me pause, go back to our beginning, go to our sphere, and I want to go to rotation banking right here. So I'm going to click on our keyframe button and now I'm going to go to 20 frames, uh, excuse me, go to the 20th frame and I'm going to go to 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, enter. You can see now this turns orange so it knows it's ready to accept a keyframe. I'm going to click on that and now it's going to turn red and now we have a keyframe for our banking in the 90 degrees. So if I move back, you can kind of scrub through the timeline, see how that rotates. But the problem is when I press play, now it just rotates. It doesn't rotate all the way. This way we can go back to our uh, timeline functions and we can do that as well. So shift F3 on our keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our rotation here. Uh, make sure you just have the rotation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, linear. And if I hover over, you can see we have linear. We're going to click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to after, but we're going to go to continue. And now what that's going to do, is that's going to continue to rotate all the way through. And you can see that by, uh, if I look at the F curves, you can kind of see how that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down my timeline and I'm going to press play. And you can see how that rotates all the way through in each step. So now if I go to my camera rotation, or excuse me, my camera, and we can kind of set this up so it looks a little bit better. Rotate this around. Now if I press play, you can have a nice little scene set up where very quickly you can uh, build this very quickly and have a, a quick rotate, a quick animation, and we can do all that within our timeline. Don't have to go through all those keyframes.